And this weekend, it just hit me Saturday. I went took the kids down to Barton Creek. It's a dry creek bed to you know hike a mile or two. And I just saw planes. It, it, it had been a blue sky when we drove down to Barton Creek. And by the time we got there, it was just nothing but pure chemtrails. And they were low-lying. They were high. The, the, they were not ice crystals. They were not dissipating if you're a new listener. If you go back to the mid-90s, that's when all this started. And then, sure enough, that's when the secret government program, now admitted, began. But the details remain classified. And they just say, we're saving you from global warming. That's all you need to know. Really, by spraying aluminum dioxide on us, that's the main thing they're spraying. And yes, it does form nuclei. And then I've talked to different scientists. Depending on where they spray it, it can actually heat the earth up more. Because the ultraviolet radiation goes through the clouds and then bounces back up. And the heat that bounces back up does not escape. I mean, did they blow holes in the upper atmosphere when the U.S. government alone tested over 300 high-powered hydrogen bombs in the upper atmosphere? They tried to blow up the Van Allen radiation belt once. It's all in a Discovery Channel thing uh, narrated by William Shatner. From that, you can go pull up the government documents. Uh, it was declassified, I don't know, about 15 years ago, and then Shatner did a show about it. And it, it shows them trying to blow up the atmosphere. In one test, 30-plus high-powered hydrogen bombs are fired up into the upper atmosphere. It's out west, I think, Nevada. And you see giant nuclear explosions up in the edge of space trying to blow holes in the atmosphere. Why? Because they can. I mean, I'm trying to give them a good reason. Did you blow a hole in the atmosphere? Are you trying to save it? I don't know. No, the answer is absolutely not. Because these aluminum dioxide, barium salts have nothing to do with that. Uh, they're just playing God. They're testing how to control weather patterns. And it has the added uh, thing of poisoning the, so the uh, soil and hurting people and reducing fertility and causing brain damage. So, and, and again, the public is like children. Because it's not on the nightly news, they don't care. I mean, it's admitted in government documents. They admit they're doing this, but they're just like, well, that's not a big issue if you're spraying me and my family with aluminum and barium and sulfur dioxide and other little goodies. So I'm going to get to that in a moment. But, but if you're a new listener or somebody's been listening a few years or you've been a casual viewer and you're like, Alex Jones is a nut. I've heard it and seen it a million times. Uh, he thinks they're going to set up a world government and they're going to collapse world economies and he's all gloom and doom. And, you know, uh, the debt rescue deal is going to save the U.S. in 2008 and we're, we're not in a recession or a depression. And, oh, the European Union's not going to have a problem. And now you've seen all that happen because it's designed. And I told you, every new country they take over and blame the imploding economy on is just a way to get trillions more of your tax money. And the very banks, the very six mega banks, not your regular banks, but the big boys that run the whole New World Order, the Ponzi scheme operators who've got national security. They can deal drugs, they can launder money, they can kidnap, they can kill people, they can insider trade. Above the law is what it's called. Because you know, grand juries will not indict them. Grand juries will not indict people who get like Sandusky. <clears throat> By the way, the judge that let him go and reduced the bond down to nothing and wouldn't even put a bracelet on him, turns out she works at the uh, Second Mile Foundation. <laughs> of course she does. <laughs> Helping the children, of course. Of course, and they've sent in the former, well, no current head of Merck, uh, but the guy that uh, preys upon uh, the children through the Gardasil vaccines and the rest of it. He's been sent in now to run the cover-up. You see, it's their religion to hurt us. And there's nothing like hurting the offspring of free humanity. That's what the crazies always want. And they got a Gardasil shot for you. Here it is, Daily Mail. Girl 13 left in waking coma and sleeps for 23 hours a day after severe reaction to cervical cancer jabs. They knew in 07 in 06, they knew four or five years ago that Gardasil was killing people and causing autoimmune disorders and that it didn't even protect you from cervical cancer. So they simply had the government 
come out and say it's mandated so so that taxpayer liability protection kicks in so they can quietly take it into a special kangaroo federal court and kill most of the cases. But if parents you know, are left without any justice, they have actuaries where they know parents will start killing people. And so they go ahead and pay mommy and daddy a million bucks. Sorry, your little cheerleaders in a pine box. But here's a million bucks now. Non-disclosure, keep your mouth shut, show that the soft killing can continue. I'm going to get into that. But uh, Merck's Kenneth Frazier to head up Penn State investigation. Mm-hmm, sure. He's a big alumni, big donor. <clears throat> uh, judge who set unsecured bail for Jerry Sandusky is second mile volunteer. <gasps> really? And they go on to say that she refused to put a bracelet on him or, or a tracking system and reduced his bail down to unsecured 100000 from secured half a million. Here's another one. Sandusky home on bail, but lives near elementary school. Yeah, the playground's right out back his back door. Uh, Jaron, pull up the video of him with the 15-year-old kid teaching him how to play football for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. Uh, let's continue. Sandusky, again, lives next door to elementary school. Um, oh, look, there's the name of his book, Touched. When I first saw this on the Drudge Report last week, I thought it was a joke. No, that's really his name of his book, Touched. The Jerry Sandusky Story. And you've got a dead prosecutor who, 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 who killed the investigation or, or missing. They think he's dead. Computers without hard drives found in the river, literally. Uh, other people dead or missing. You think all that because one guy's doing this? You think he could rape people right in the middle of the field house in broad daylight? You know, the word is he was bringing rich donors in. Well, that's, that's what I said before all this came out. Monday left. I said it's probably like the Texas Youth Commission where the judges and all the rest of them come in. Uh, same place in, in, uh, in, in Pennsylvania is where it came out. Remember earlier this year that judges all over the state would take kickbacks from the CPS and from the private juvenile halls and from the adoption agencies on little kids. Judges were getting kickbacks to take innocent families' kids, babies. And judges were getting kickbacks to take 10, 12-year-olds who'd gotten in trouble because you know why? You know why? Because rich people like to get them and like to rape them. Of course, that's people that just like to rape them. Of course, we know the big global companies like to get, as came out in Italian TV a few years ago, toddlers and rape them and then blow their heads off. Now, now that's for the lower level elites who don't get to actually take part in it. The higher levels, they, 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 they like to kill kids. You see, for these degenerate devils, it's not enough to just rape them. They like to murder them. They like to torture them. And they do. Don't you worry. And they've got Homeland Security going in to set up a nationwide red terror grid so they can have their way against this country. They hate, they've always hated America, and they want to take their time. And they plan on it with their national security control grid. And they're drugging the population through the food and water so they'll accept it. And they're just trying to get enough psychopaths hired into police departments and into TSA to turn it loose. It doesn't matter the TSA and their police get caught doing this all the time by good cops. They'll get rid of the good cops soon enough. That's their worldview. There's a race to get all the evil people in the positions of power. And then the real feast can begin. You see, it's not safe for them right now. Even though they're close to total power, they might still get caught. That's why they need total power. And that's why they want total power now. So they can really, really have their fun. You see, Stalin and others talked about the journey being the destination. The black uniforms, the torture, the raping, the killing, the, the releasing the psychopaths out of the prisons and arming them. And nothing more beautiful than Stalin seeing child killers in fancy uniforms and them saluting him. And, and of course, there's the memos where they said, we've already killed about a third of the town. What do we do now? Keep killing. More blood, more terror, Lenin said. And they said, yes, sir, to him as well. And it was confirmed. It's a scene in a uh, movie uh, with uh, Jeff Bridges and uh, Clint Eastwood. What's the name of that uh, movie where they're looking for the stolen money? And a car pulls over 
with a crazy man on the side of the road, and he opens it up, and there's all these rabbits, all these white rabbits. They jump out, and the crazy guy's shooting them with a shotgun. That is actually from Lenin, Vladimir Lenin. We go to a private island and just bite and murder and slice open and, ha and hatchet rabbits, thousands of them, just psychopathically running around screaming more blood. Yeah, Thunderbolt and Lightfoot, yeah. See, see, you grow up watching this stuff, you're like, who thought of this stuff? Most stuff in movies is stuff that actually goes on. Vladimir Lenin just running around. You see, you're like, yeah, why did the communists, why did Hitler do what he did? Because that's what they like to do. Hitler would sit there sometimes for two days taking amphetamines and eating pastries on the front lines until the war turned against him, watching through big telescopes burning cities. They said you could not turn him away from it. He loved it. It was wonderful. A child's face blown off, alive, screaming in pain with their tongue flopping around. That is horrifying and rips your guts out. The globalists love it. And they're going to bring it. <laughs> How they convinced you to abort 51 million Americans and that it's just a choice and it's not a human. Well, now they want to chop the kids up when they're two or three. As Peter Singer, uh, the globalist, transhumanist, animal rights activist, has said, parents should be able to kill kids up to age two. Because humans are the same value as mackerel. Old people should be killed. Look it up. Look up these quotes. You think I just say this stuff on air? Oh, he found the... the, the uh, the clip from the film where the, where the psychopath is shooting the white rabbits. Now, Lennon uh, did it with uh, guns, knives, you named it. And this is the type of evil we face. And only by admitting it can we face it and deal with it. Only by admitting it. You see, when you give in to having your rights violated, the government's like, what do you have to hide? What do you want to do to me, criminal? Every seat, the rights are there, not because you have something to hide, but because any group that wants to spy on everybody and violate people's rights and militarize police and have federal standing armies will take your freedom and overrun you. And you notice the minute we got rid of the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, the last bits of it are draining away. America is a jet black pit. A black hole is, is, is sucking us down into it. And as the Bill of Rights and Constitution go out the window, pure evil is filling the space. And you're going to see it manifest until the society just collapses. I have articles where all over the country, bus drivers won't even drive their buses down because crime's so high. Metal, uh, Lincoln's uh, copper sword was stolen. Metal is being stripped off everywhere. Uh, police are reporting they're not going to respond to crime in most cities and will only be generating revenue. Uh, just, 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 just open evil is being poured out against us. And this is the only, this is only the beginning of the curses America is going to go under and the rest of the world. God is removing the protection from the nation. Hell is now pouring in upon us. Now, before I get into the chemtrails, we come back from break and the Twitter bomb, just Twitter to your friends, retweet our, our tweets. Infowars.com. Tell them Infowars.com is exposing the chemtrail attack. Infowars.com is exposing the greatest public health threat, geoengineering. Get this article out. It breaks it all down, ends the mystery, documents it all. We'll have a video presentation with not just links to all the documents, but it all put together tomorrow on the nightly news, and it'll air here on the radio the next day. Now, that said, I haven't gotten to all the admissions that they're now going to put microphones in all of your cars to listen to you just to make sure you're not a criminal. Oh, that's now being announced. I told you 10 years ago. Or TSA saying they're going to open all of your Christmas presents and squeeze your breast and grab your genitals. In fact, here's the KF. Y.O. article, let's document cam that for viewers. It shows a TSA woman literally cupping with both hands a woman's breast. Again, the perverts want to get in your space. They want to train you, you have no personal space. They're going to train your children that a strange man or woman is going to touch their genitals. But that isn't just for the pedophile army. That's one of the largest brigades the globalists have who are always ready to carry out any evil in exchange for children as lower pit goblins. 
But the others just know it's important for forced inoculation and to train the public to have government put their hands on you like you're being brought into a prison. TSA Worms will open your Christmas presents. I already bought my daughter, uh, the first uh, daughter I had, a rattle when I was flying back. When she was about six months old, I bought her a rattle in New York. Um, at Tiffany's, it was like 80 bucks. And, uh, but I had a little silver rattle, so I thought I'd get her one. And they just tore open the box and didn't even leave a note and stole something else, stole the, uh, the, uh, teething ring, but left the rattle. They, I guess they didn't want that. So, you know, but being robbed by them, it's all part of the sacrament unto evil. Oh, oh, but, oh, but remember I told you they'd implode the world economy and that, and that after Ireland, after Greece, it would only get worse. And next it would be Italy and then Spain and then Portugal. Oh, oh, here's the London Telegraph. They've now reported on documents that have been public for a long time that, that I told you about in Obama deception and, and endgame. The EU's architects never meant it to be a democracy. The rise of a technocracy was always part of the plan. And they admit it was always part of a plan to bankrupt. And it's going to be a scientific technocracy with biometrics controlling everything you do and the state taking your children. But they have to first bankrupt everything where you're so poor, then when you can't feed your kids, the state is going to take them. See, they get you addicted to welfare first, and then they take your children for being on welfare. Judges in the U.S. are now taking people's children when they go on welfare. And the judges are being paid money to do it. And then they give them to families that want kids. If a child's blessed, they go to a normal family who's ignorant about the adoption process in this country. But if they're not, they go into a dungeon hell. And to make sure the, that the child can't speak out about the gang raping, they begin putting them on psychotropic drugs. And then by the time they're 15, they're thrown out on the street. And you see them on the street corners mumbling to themselves after electroshock therapy and brain damage. So after they suck everything out of them, they brain damage them with chemicals and then throw them out on the street. And if you don't like it, a SWAT team is going to break your jaw and knock your teeth out. And cops take your fluoride drinks as well and inject your children with mercury. You want the blessing too, don't you?